uh, using all the platforms we provide, uh, talk to others and you will likely be surprised uh, how much in common you have with somebody who is coming from a completely uh, different field. Oh, excuse me, oh, sorry. Okay, so um, before I, before I get into how to interact with each other, I'd like to first thanks everyone, thank everyone who have been working so hard to make this event happen. Um, so our program committee have, uh, have been so valuable uh, to bring their own uh, expertise from different research areas and bring you the top notch speakers that you will meet today. And I wanna give a big shout out to the members of organizing committee who have worked super hard to kick, uh, take care of a lot of the, uh, so many of the logistic details to take the event online, um, test the platforms and to give you, the, hopefully we will be able to give you an experience that is as close to in-person interactions as possible. Um, we have also uh, received a very strong administrative support from uh, both Carnegie, uh, both CMU libraries and uh, the uh, School of Computer Science so you can see that both deans, uh, Keith Webster and Marshall Hebert, uh, will, uh, they've been personally involved in the planning and you will meet them uh, during the program um, in the panel discussion and in the uh, fireside chat with Marshall. Um, so I wanna uh, also, oh, sorry. So I also want to point out that um, Many of the planning committee are members of the Open Science and Data Collaborations Program at CMU, which we launched in the beginning of 2019 in order to provide stronger support for open science across CMU campus. So what we do is to license digital tools, provide training, uh, organize open science events, and bring together communities across disciplines at CMU and beyond. And ADAR and Open Science Symposium are two of the main events we host every year. So now let's actually get into the details how to interact with each other in this conference. So there are three uh, virtual platforms uh, we use. Zoom is um, where you, you attend to the talks and panel discussions and the, the fireside chat. I ask audience to stay, please stay muted unless the chair gives you permission to speak. Um, but we do encourage to ask questions and ask a lot of them because um, I want to, we, we really want people to be interactive and talk to each other. Uh, so please send your questions by chat. So in this, um, you might see that you only have an option to uh, chat to one of the hosts, but please uh, send your question to the, uh, to the person uh, that's labeled as a chair because that would be the person who's announcing the questions to the speakers. And each, uh, each session we will have a different chair. So pay attention to just the, what's in the parenthesis. Um, and as a one reminder, if you haven't uh, updated to the latest version of the Zoom, uh, please do so because we do notice that the latest version runs a, a, a lot more smooth um, than a lot smoother than uh, the older versions. Um, we also have interaction, uh, invite everybody to interact on Slack, and this is our Slack space. Um, so we can, we will use the ADAR 2020 channel to discuss remaining questions. And also feel free to create the new channels if you, there are some topics of interest that you would like to discuss with, the, uh, with other participants. Um, and we do have a tech issues channel uh, if you need to get help using how to use these platforms. And the third platform, this is supposed to be a fun one, is a gathered how. So when, when you paste, uh, copy and paste this URL into, um, uh, into your browser, um, you will be able to enter a space that looks like this. This is a map of CMU campus. So you will be one of the avatars that you would uh, be connected with video um, and audio with people who are close to you and start a conversation. Um, and if you walk away, you just break a uh, break out, break away from the conversation. So it's very similar to in person. And this is also how we, um, there are some, we do have a few posters uh, throughout the space so you can browse them as well. 
Um, one thing is we ask you to disconnect from Zoom before entering, uh, before entering the, uh, the Gather Town because there would be some interference. And also the Gather Town doesn't work out, uh, doesn't work with the Safari, but it does work with Chrome or Firefox. Um, so there's, I know there's a lot of uh, links over here, but the, the easiest way to find this information is go to your registration, uh, go to the email that I sent you before the event. And there's also uh, the web website for technical instructions to find out more details. And we have uh, technical help on the Slack as well. Uh, last but not least, we have as a big, bigger, as to have a lot of participants, we do have a code of conduct. Um, I encourage you to read all the details over here, but the gist of it, just very simple, be respectful, treat others the way you want others to treat you. And this applies to all, all platforms we use. Um, and we do have a mechanism, uh, a reporting mechanism if, see, if you see violations. Okay, so I've said too much, let's get to it. And now I'm gonna hand over to Hannah Gunderman, uh, who is uh, gonna chair the first session.